On the surface, covert narcissists can come across as shy, introverted and even modest. But don't let their self-effacing exterior fool you. Here are 8 common traits of a covert narcissist. 1. Extremely sensitive to criticism. Covert narcissists lack confidence and self-esteem, but they still have an inflated belief of superiority, uniqueness and entitlement. They cannot draw on an inner fabricated self-esteem like the grandiose narcissist can. They can only gain it externally through validation and attention. Because of this, their ego is extremely fragile. So, if a covert narcissist is presented with criticism, they will project it straight back onto the person who brought it to them, and then set out to destroy that person for daring to do so. This is the only way the ego can stop the attack of criticism from penetrating their false reality, and taking down the whole thing. 2. Passive-aggressive behavior. Covert narcissists have mastered the art of passive aggression. This is where they indirectly express negative feelings instead of addressing them directly. A big part of their false image is in appearing to be kind, gentle, helpful and likable, even though they are not authentically any of those things. By withholding, invalidating and blame shifting, they can covertly manipulate and punish others, without being outwardly seen to be doing so. 3. Shy or introverted. Covert narcissists lack the inflated confidence and charm that grandiose narcissists exude. They don't like to put themselves in positions where their inadequacies may be exposed, such as social situations or being center stage. A much safer strategy is to play it safe on the sidelines. Instead of being in the spotlight, they'll gain the validation they need through using fear, obligation and guilt on those around them. 4. Fantasies of Grandiosity Covert narcissists can be very preoccupied with fantasies of being rich, holding positions of power at work, being famous and rubbing shoulders with elite social groups. But, due to their low self-worth and unwillingness to put themselves out there, they rarely achieve any of their grandiose fantasies. However, their inner belief of superiority and entitlement, has them believing that those things should be handed to them, simply for existing. 5. Depression and Anxiety Covert narcissists are regularly fighting with their false self's belief, of being more special and superior than others. Yet, their outside world never seems to match up with that belief. They're constantly being shown evidence of a plain and flawed life, which directly opposes their fantasy delusion of superiority and entitlement. This constant conflicting information of the truth, versus what their ego needs them to believe, can lead to depression and anxiety. 6. Jealousy. Covert narcissists are notoriously jealous of the successes of others. They cannot stand seeing others have what they believe should rightfully be theirs. Yet, their low self-esteem and aversion to having anyone see them as a failure, hold them back from taking risks in careers and hobbies, which could potentially lead to success. Unless they are 100% confident they can do something perfectly, and uphold their false version of themselves, they won't even try. So, they end up sitting back on the couch, complaining about a world that is inherently unfair to them. 7. Selfish altruism. You may see moments of empathy in a covert narcissist, but it will always come from a self-serving place. If they do something nice for someone, they need to be seen to be doing it and receive accolades for their kindness. They will only ever be generous towards others because they expect something in return. If a covert narcissist does something for someone else and they don't receive the validation, acclaim or trophy they were expecting, they'll immediately flip the script. You can then find them heavily complaining about how ungrateful everyone is, and that everyone always takes advantage of them. 8. Playing the victim. Covert narcissists are the biggest victims on planet Earth. They don't have the good looks, talent or charm required to easily gain attention and adoration from the world around them. So, for them to get their much-needed drug of narcissistic supply, they use the poor me method instead. Covert narcissists will expertly play the victim, to either get people to feel sorry for them, or to evade accountability for their bad behavior. It's easy to mistakenly think their tears mean that they are sorry for hurting you, or that they're not self-centered and narcissistic. However, once you know what you're looking at, their overused victim card is the very thing that gives them away, 